Martinez sat on death row for a double murder in Tampa, but he could emerge a free man from his retrial. An appeals court ruled secretly taped evidence against Martinez cannot be used in this latest trial that just got underway today. 10 News reporter Dave Bowman has more on how taped evidence is becoming a sore spot for a Bay Area law enforcement agent. Sheriff's deputies. And Hillsborough County uh, doesn't have a very good track record. Michael Peros is a Bay Area surveillance expert who points out Hillsborough County was stung earlier this year when a federal court held that tapes used to record the conversations of Steve and Marlene Eisenberg were so bad they could not be used in any case against them regarding their missing daughter. And Peros says in the case of Joaquin Martinez, deputies should have made a high quality recording. They actually had a full 24 hour uh, time period to implement the technology so they could get good audio and video, and they didn't. Six years ago, Martinez was a suspect in the murders of Sherry McCoy Ward and Douglas Lawson near Tampa. Deputies gave Martinez his ex-wife a camcorder to record what they hoped would be an admission of murder. The tapes were used in Martinez's trial, even though the judge admits, quote, I could get very little out of them. Prosecutors said the tapes were excessively hard to make anything out. And in the tape's transcript, the word inaudible is used 450 times. Martinez now has a retrial, and the tape will not be used. <laughs> Martinez's father says the murder case is now down to the word of his son versus his son's ex-wife. In Tampa, Dave Bowman, 10 News. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is not commenting on the case. By the way, Martinez did win a victory today. Prosecutors announced they will not seek the death penalty during this retrial. A six